Welcome everybody and thank you so much for being here. Our channel is based around creativity where we use different supplies, pens, pencils, paint, you name it, but you're going to see us do plenty of things. Stick around and let's get to know each other as we all are super creative. Magical delight. Like what else can I say? This book is beautiful, but I wanted to show you a little bit about what I've been working on. Um, look at this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having so much fun making these things. These little pieces of resin that are like little treasures. I love them. They're fun, fun, fun. I have fully enjoyed doing this. I cannot tell you how much I've loved it. But I'm here today to kind of talk to you about this beautiful book that I have been working in. Ah, Clara Markova. She has this whimsy kind of um, young kind of feeling to her books, but I'm just telling you, they're so beautiful. So I decided that I was going to work in this book um, with my friend, Jean Melby, and she is one of my friends on Instagram. I also know her from Face, uh, sorry, YouTube, um, but we're going to do that picture and then also one of my cutest friends um she's the sweetest little one ever ever um stacy her and i were working on this one together and this was a very special page i really loved it worked with my watercolors and stuff this one is with um ivy I don't know all those numbers, but also Kim T from YouTube. And this one is straight pencils and they're the Lyra's. No blending, nothing like that. But what I wanted to do is go ahead and get started on this book, but with these pencils. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about them. I can't stand it. They are in this awesome box that is really hard to unwrap um it comes with plastic on it not even some of the high-end ones come with that that's weird huh anyway get rid of that stuff these are really cool they are almost like a poly or poly chromos but um they're oil based pencil i saw them and i saw 437 views with like a 4.8 I was like, what? I got to have this. I don't know what it is, but let's try them. I'm always down for an oil pencil. Like, get real. I love them. Love them. Anyway, this also comes with this little booklet, 15 pages, images of these mandalas. And then it comes with 15 blank pages. Pretty cool. Different type of paper. Never tried it in my life. It almost feels like a watercolor paper, but not. And it has like the texture of a cold press paper, but oh i don't know anyway um it comes with all that so it is a pretty cool deal it comes with eraser and also a lovely little sharpener three trays check it out these are all colorful guess what they have numbers they have names and they're in the boxes from one to 72 they're not um color coded or whatever and it's got a really cool color chart, but y'all know me. I don't do color charts, so I just picked out what I would normally do with um, this style of picture. And this is the color palette, and this is what I got. And look at this bad mamma jamma. It is a sharp baby. So what I'm going to do is always control my um, pressure. And sometimes I need to do that with both hands um, on the paper. I'm pulling back on the pencil as far back as I can because I'm really creating a base rather than coloring. Um, I can't um, start without a base anymore. I, I, I almost have to. Um, I realized something last year when I was learning more coloring is that um, I was afraid to put the color on the paper. And then I'm like, but duh I'm coloring just kidding guys I didn't think that I still couldn't figure it out for the longest time that um, you have to have a base as to where you want to go and we're not trying to go with white and yeah we need to highlights and low lights and stuff like that but you want to still start with a base and that's what um, I'm doing here I'm starting with my base 
And from here, I will end up going into my, uh, I would say my warmer mid range or my more, my warmer um, dark. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, so basically, I'm just going to go, I go light, d like medium, and then I go back to dark and then, you know, fill in and stuff. But one of the things that I really, really um, learned about these pencils while I was learning them, um, they just flew out, that, that pigment just flew out of that tip. It was impressive. I'm not even kidding. They are smooth. They didn't hurt my hands. Um, this is literally what you're what you're watching me do is only one like one base from the light to the darkest and creating my um, lows, mediums, and highs. And um, I try to get as much color as I can out of my lightest color. So here you see me creating my deeper, darker, and depth shadows. And this is where you're going to start going, dang, that's dark. Um, I did in the beginning. I was like, how are they doing that? Why are they putting so much color there? Because there's already a lighter base under there. So I can get that pigment in there and then blend it out and um it took me a while to to get comfortable with you know how much pressure do you use and how do i do the pencil how many times do i flip the pencil just remember every time you pull up on that pencil turn it because you need to have a sharp um point it doesn't mean the pencil has to be at a point it means you just need to have something for that paper to grab onto and you don't want to be pushing hard um, you're going to flatten out that paper and then these pencils will just glide back over and forth on it it's not actually grabbing the paper um, so just be really careful on that pressure if you're new to coloring it's the most important part um, that you can spend your time learning is pressure. Um, it, it's really awkward at first. It's, it, we, I think we naturally want to go in and color the way we learn to write. And we are doing art. We are not writing. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense. Um, it's kind of just, again, I'm just trying to kind of get in there and, and tell you about the things that I've been doing in order to help me and my skills of my one year, only one year of coloring. And um, maybe I can help somebody the way I had wished I would have had help and understanding. I don't know. Um, if people explain it the way I'm explaining it, or if you're just freaking confused after even listening to me, maybe. But at the end of the day, um, I'm really, I'm really impressed with these pencils, these pencils right here. If you are wanting polychromos fabric castell and you cannot get them right now for whatever reason, whatever the reason in the world is, you're going to want to take a look at the end of this video because you're going to like fall on the floor with how inexpensive these are and the quality that's coming out of these. I, I am so impressed. So just hang out, maybe listen to a, a little bit of music. I will come back if I can think of anything else that you guys need me to explain to you. Um, because I, I, you see me just stop right there. I thought that I had grabbed the wrong color pencil. I was like almost gonna vomit right there because I'm like no it's not gonna turn out the way I want to but I just kept going because it didn't matter we can fix our problems we can fix all of our problems guys it's just a pencil it's just a pencil guys just so just a pencil just kidding um I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys I have uh too much time on my hand with all these covid you know quarantine sit by myself days uh, <laughs> obviously I'm going a little delirious but, uh, so what's new in van life? Um, we got some things this last week organized. I'm not able to quite do anything right now because my neck is hurt right now. But, um, Cameron's done an awesome job this week of really pushing for, um, our renovation that's coming up. It starts February 4th. That is going to be extremely, extremely stressful. We have to not only pack up everything, 
Um, we are going to reinstall almost everything from the floor up, including solar system, including our water system. Uh, yeah. Um, redoing the ceilings, the walls, um, redoing the wood for the bed. The only thing that's pretty much going to stay stationary as to where it is right now and what we're doing right now, we're not going to be removing the kitchen because we're settled with the kitchen. We like our kitchen and we like where it's at. Um, there was a quick discussion about possibly moving my desk over to where the kitchen is because that's where it started out originally, but don't think it's going to work out. So we'll probably keep it there. Um, Cameron's desk is going to stay where it's at, but we do and are readjusting the bathroom, installing the kitchen. I'm sorry, installing the shower area. I'm not going to call it a shower. It's not a shower. It'll be a rinse off area. Um, confusing if you don't understand it in van life, but Again, hang out with me. We're going to learn a lot um, about van life because I think I'm going to start showing you guys what we're going to be going through through our renovation. Let me know if that's something you want to hear about because it could be fun to learn about. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot, 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 lot what we have to do um, daily. And so in that renovation time, we're doing it in four days, guys four days we're going to be staying in a hotel room um the four days and hopefully we can be putting our stuff in there um and we imagine it'll be in totes you know plans always are in your head and then you execute does it work out no um and we expect that it's van life nothing goes as planned and uh the spontaneity is quite crazy so I said we were going to listen to music and we're not listening to music. We're just talking, talking because talking is important these days because I don't have anybody to talk to. Thanks for being my friends, guys, and coloring with me and keeping me company these days. It's been awesome. Um, yeah. So how is everybody? Are you all right out there? I hope so. Um, new year, right? New ways, new people, new everything. Um, not sure if there's any difference, but new stuff, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, so I had a question. What is the most comfortable, uh, warm item that you wear? Is it a slipper? Is it sweats? Is it a sweatshirt? Uh, what is your cozy wearable item? Um, comment below because I think I'm a little bit of a weirdo. Um, if you know what a cardigan sweater is, it's like my go-to. I wear them like with my jams, with jeans, with skirts, with work clothes. Like I have so many of them. I am like the biggest dork in the world with them and I love them, but I just kind of want to know what the heck do you guys wear? What's that staple piece that you always reach for to stay warm? like security blanket kind of thing. Um, I thought that would be funny to know about you guys. I, I just, I really want to get to know you guys. Tell me all about you guys. If you're watching this video, just blurt out something really cool to me. I don't care what it is. I mean, keep it respectful. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm about to show you how much these pencils are because I was freaking blown away. But check it out. Here it comes. $23.99 what i couldn't believe it i was like blown away so here's that piece i was holding earlier and these are beautiful pencils please take your time to look at them love 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 them um and this is a little bit about how it happened and what i worked on tonight thank you so much please um if you know somebody that that uh wants to hear this share it subscribe. Thank you so much, my monkeys. I love you all and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.